Hello friends, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you for being here. I am in a good mood today. The birds are singing. I saw baby sheep. There's purple flowers in front of my house. Life is good. I'm watching a movie with you and I'm going on a trip with Carly. We are going to Philadelphia. We're gonna run the Rocky Steps. We're gonna eat a cheesesteak and we're gonna see Taylor Swift. So excited. What a dream of a weekend. So I'm in a good mood and I'm excited to watch a movie with you tonight. Okay, so we have movie trivia nights over on Patreon. They are an absolute blast and the winner gets to submit five movies that I have not seen of their choosing and I'll pick one to react to. Well, our winner, the Choof Man, <laughs> um, he won last time a double two-time winner legend over on patreon in the movie or trivia world but since he won before he still got the amazon gift card for winning but the picks went to second place we want to spread the love so ben l was our second place winner and he got to submit five movies well ben is a classics lover and i always like when we get to go back to these he submitted i know where i'm going the More the Merrier, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, It Happened One Night, and The African Queen, which was our winner, which was from 1951. And that was the most recent one. So they were all old 30s, 40s, 50s movies. And, you know, I always like an excuse to go back to some of the classics. Sometimes they don't win polls. Sometimes they, you know, don't get the views, which is fine. It's still important, I think. And like I've said in every one, they always surprise me. I always end up having this attitude of like, oh, it's old. I don't want, it's old. I don't want to watch it. And then I end up loving them. So I put them in a poll this time because I knew so little about them. I put those five in a poll and the winner was African Queen with 47%. Second was The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. So I'm hoping to get to that one one day soon as well. But tonight we are watching The African Queen. I don't even know what genre this is. I just know that I've seen the cover and it looks like almost like a scary movie from the 50s, which I don't think I would be that scared of. Although the birds sure made me jump and psycho. So never mind. Anyways, I am excited to watch this movie with you tonight and let's get started just like that remember if you want to come over on patreon join patreon join our trivia nights vote on these polls here it is it's such a fun loving community and if you're new here i would love if you press subscribe and don't forget to like the video let's go Humphrey Bogart and Catherine Hepburn. I've heard those names so many. Wait, have I heard of Catherine, Catherine Hepburn? Any relation to Audrey? German East Africa. The African Queen. It does look very hot. Sorry, I'm late, but one thing and another kept me at Lombardi. You know how it is. Uh, I'm in for going over when I get back to the mine. Call me all the names I can think of, but I don't mind being cussed out. Oh, I need the subtitles for sure. Let the man eat. Bread and butter. That's right, miss. Understand. I think I had a hyena inside me. <laughs> what do you suppose makes a man's stomach carry on like this? Try a rock cake, Mr. Allnut. Herbie Morton's a bishop. Huh? Uh, who's that, dear? He sang a solo at the commemoration concert. Holy, holy, I think it was. Holy, 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 holy. 
I'm delighted for him, naturally. Of course. I can't tell if they're brother or sister or... I probably won't be coming around this way for a couple of months. It don't look like there's going to be any mail for a while. Why not? The Germans will hold it up. Count of the war. War? Where, Mr. Olner? Europe. Between whom? Germany? England? 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 That's right. You really mean war? Germans claim the British started it. British claim it was the Germans. Oh, oh yes, the, the French are in it and all them little countries. Austria, Hungary. All them little countries. Well, I'll be shoving off. Thanks for the tea. Goodbye, Mr. Olner. Wretched little man, what indifference. He's a Canadian. Doesn't he realize he's in this too? The good shepherd doesn't desert his flock when the wolves are prowling. The Canadian. What is that? Why doesn't give me subtitles? Uh... What's the meaning of this outrage? How dare you? This is horrific. So the Germans just came in and took them all and burned everything to the ground. Brother, dear, you're not at all well. Africa? It's not well. Brother, dear. What happened to him? Smacked them, hip and thigh. Rose, are you down there in the shop? I try so hard, you know, to study. I'm going to put my books away. Is this like him in shock or some kind of virus? Okay, look at the seeds now. A lot of time has passed. So they've been here too, eh? So I left here the other day, the drums started in the forest. Soon my boys was moaning and rolling their eyes. The way I look at it, they plan to make soldiers of the natives and take over all Africa. Oh. Where's the Reverend? He's in there. He's dead. Oh. Oh, well now, ain't that awful. Died? Well, I'm digging the grave. You get your things together, all the things you want to carry, that we can clear out of here in a hurry. The Germans might come back any time. Oh, they'll be back all right, looking for the African queen. They'd give a lot to get their hands on her, you bet. Blast and gelatin, tin grub, cylinders of oxygen. What? In his boat? Let's go, miss. Let's go while the going's good. He must have had just... He, they hit him in the head. Internal concussion. Bleeding. Pardon me. He's Canadian. Pardon me. Mind taking the teller, miss? Huh? Come on. A little to starboard, miss. No, no, the other way. Here we are, safe and sound, as you might say. The question is, what next? You simply can't remain here in this backwater until the war is over, Mr. Olnott. You got the map. Show me a way out, and I'll take it. They won't come up from the Congo, not even if they wanted to. But if you got any ideas about going down to the lake in this launch, you better get rid of them. If we tried to pass under their guns, they'd blow us right out of the water. And then after oh. that, Miss, there's the rapid. What did you say is in these boxes with the red lines on them? Well, that's blasting gelatin, Miss. Is it dangerous? You can hit it with a hammer, and it won't go off. <laughs> it takes a detonator to set it off. What are these long, round... He's got a plan. And oxygen and hydrogen cylinders, Miss. Could you make a torpedo? You don't really know what you're asking. Children but all those things, those gyroscopes and things, they're only to make it go, aren't they? We've got the African Queen. A good head of steam up and then point the launch toward a ship, and just before she hit, we could dive off. Um. There ain't nothing to torpedo. The Louisa. The Louisa? You can't do that. Honest, you can't. I told you before, we can't get down the Alanga. You don't know anything about boats. In other words, you are refusing to help your country in her hour of need, Mr. Olnott? Well, all right, miss. Have it your own way. But don't blame me for what happened. Does she want to do this to escape? Or does she want to do this, like she said, to help her country? Could you make a torpedo? <laughs> It's only big enough for the two of us. This is like the Jungle Cruise. And he's the skipper. Feed pump full of scum and rust. She gets clogged up. Kick it and starts it working again. What would happen if you didn't kick her? Old boiler blow up. The only reason I ain't done it up to now is that I kind of like kicking her. She's all I've got. <laughs> okay, Mr. Allnut.
Jolly ho. That's what they say. Yeah, I could do with a drink. What's she doing? How would you like a nice cup of tea? Yeah, I'd like a cup of tea. <laughs> Is she thirsty but doesn't want gin? Sugar, miss? Thank you. I don't mention it. He's got everything on the boat. How long have you been out here, miss? Uh, about ten years. Whoa! I thought they were going to say like a month or two. Uh, sometimes I wish I was back rubbing elbows, as they say. Out here, I'm my own boss. Anyway, I was until... <laughs> Now, you don't see any crocodiles in this. Uh, I could do with a bath before I turn in. I'd like a bath myself. Well, and I'll just go up in the bow and hang off the anchor chain. You can stay back here in the stern, and as long as we don't look, it won't matter, huh? The Canuck. Well, how about it, miss? You can't say crocodiles in one sentence and then bath in the next. <sighs> so it's a modesty thing why they have to wear so many clothes. Even in Africa. I can't into the boat. Close your eyes, please, Mr. Oh. Oh, no. Mr. Allnut, what are you doing? Get out. This instant. What? Breathing in, it's his boat. Oh, let it back in. Mr. Allnut, you may come in out of the rain. I really want them to be on a first name basis. Sorry, I gave you such a turn. That's quite all right. It's hard to know. Like, I don't know what to expect. I don't even know what this is really supposed to be. Just like, is it a love story? Is it a comedy? Is it a war movie? I don't know what it's going to turn into. Or kind of what tone this is supposed to be. The current's quite strong here, isn't it? Yes, we're getting near the rapid. Just around that bend. He's just smiling. I think those are fake people on that boat from that view. But it still looks pretty good for 1950, right? He is driving that boat well. How'd you like it? Like it? I never dreamed. I don't blame you for being scared, miss. Not one little bit. I never dreamed that any mere physical experience could be so stimulating. I've only known such excitement a few times before. Miss, you're crazy. I beg your pardon? You know what would have happened if we'd come up against one of them rocks? I must say I'm filled with admiration for your skill, Mr. Allnut. Them rapids ain't nothing to watch out in front of us. On second thoughts, I wouldn't call them rapids at all. I can hardly wait. All this foolish talk about the Louisa going down the river. What do you mean? I mean, we ain't gonna do nothing of the sort. What an absurd idea. What an absurd idea. What an absurd idea. Just why don't you want to go on, Mr. Olnut? I never agreed to nothing. You are a liar, Mr. Olnut. And what is worse, you are a coward. Uh, she says it with a smile on her face. I asked you on board because I was sorry for you. Well, I ain't sorry no more, you skitty old maid. Too far, Mr. Allnut. There was the bull fish. I think he's drunk on river water. Oh, oh. oh, miss. Oh, have pity, miss. It ain't your property. Mm -hmm. He'd be a lot madder, actually. Ah, it's a great thing to have a lady aboard with clean habits. I tell you, it's a model, like an inspiration. I don't know if he's being, uh... Guess you haven't never had a look at me without my whiskers and all cleaned up. Why, you could be at high tea. Say, that's an idea, yeah, Miss. How's about a nice out? little cup of tea? I'll be glad to make it for you. How's about reading it out loud? I could sure do with a little spiritual comfort myself. You call yourself a Christian. Huh? Huh? What you being so mean for, miss? Man takes a drop too much once in a while. It's only human nature. Nature, Mr. Allnut, is what we are put in this world to rise above. I'm sorry. I apologize. 
Let's have a heart. Fair is fair. I just can't stand no more of this. I just ain't used to it, that's all. You promised you'd go down the river. Death a dozen times over down the river. What else are they gonna do? All right, miss. You win, as the crocodiles will be glad to hear. Down the river we go. Waiting for that supper, miss. Which bank is Jonah on? Over to starboard, miss. Then the sun will be in their eyes. I don't... I didn't think they moved that fast. Don't be worried, Mr. Ornott. Oh, I ain't worried, miss. Gave myself up for dead back where we started. <laughs> I don't think she's had much commotion or excitement in her life. She... Get down, miss. ...is happy about this. Sie landen wahrscheinlich am unteren Steg. Es landet nicht! Just tell me what they're saying. Feuer über das Schiff! Down, sir. What do you think now, miss? Oh, they had duct tape back then. Fun <laughs> was his eyes. Life jackets on, guys? Nope. Should he, should he? We feel like, feel like she liked it. I was like, where is he gonna go get gas? But it's a steamboat. Do you recognize these flowers, Mr. Orna? I've never seen them before. Well, I can't say as I have either. I don't suppose they even have a name. They sure are pretty. It's big for her, I feel like. Hey, show us more! Now that they've locked lips, surely they can stop saying Mr. Allnut. Mr. Allnut. I think his name is James. Dear. Dear. Oh, we're moving fast. Two spoonfuls of sugar is right, isn't it? Fancy you're building the fire and all while I slept. Dear, what is your first name? Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, that's better. <laughs> You're not supposed to kiss someone until you know their middle name. Give us a kiss. That's a hobbit line! I expect it's just about the prettiest place I've ever been to, and that's saying a lot. Well, not that I ain't all for going on down the river, you understand. The sooner we blow up the old Louisa, the better. Then you think we can do it? Do it, of course we can do it. Never say die, that's my motto. We'll go on. Thank heaven for your strength, Charlie. Uh -huh. This is odd. <gasps> Please look at Jungle Cruise. <laughs> They're losing it. They're losing it. <laughs> they, you know. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a bachelor one on one and it's so awkward. I want to crawl into a hole. More rapids? Waterfall. Better than we could have hoped for. Skin seems tight enough. You gotta go down underneath and take a look. I hope there's no fancy currents down there. I hope there's no crocs. Maybe we should have had a plan, safe word. Shaft's twisted like a corkscrew and there's a blade going off the prop. Couldn't you straighten the shaft without taking the boat up on shore? Means working underwater. Can't we go on the blades that are left? Oh, the prop would be out of balance. The shaft would be all twisted up like a corkscrew again. We'll have to make a new blade then. There's lots of iron and stuff that you could use. Wouldn't it be better to weld it on? Isn't that the right word, dear? Weld it on? 
Aren't we in the middle of the jungle in a war? I love her optimism, though. The shaft don't seem to want to come out. It's stuck like. Let me help you. I'm going to go down there, too. Rosie, are you cracked? The currents down there are fierce. Don't think I should have ever come to Africa. I might have. Oh, but then I wouldn't have met you, Rosie, old girl. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Let's, let's not say old girl. We're welding. The question is, will she stand up under a full head of steam? Kind of romantic adventure if it wasn't for the war and the plan to blow up something. Ah, pinch me, Rosie. Here we are, going down the river like Anthony and Cleopatra on that board. <laughs> Your own personal safari. Oh, Charlie, you've lost your mind. Lost my heart, too. The river needs to rest for a while, I suppose we do, too. Well, they became very adorable real quick. Pretty soon we're gonna wish we was back shooting the rapids. Oh. I'm going under the water. Yeah, yeah that's it. No. <gasps> Get me out of here, Charlie, I can't stand it. Oh, I also can't stand it. <laughs> Holy crap, it's like a plague. They're going to get malaria. Oh, Charlie, my hero. I'm ashamed of myself, Charlie. You're so bitter. Uh, the bites themselves ain't so bad. It's having them all around you. What are we going to do, Charlie? The river keeps straight and deep and slow. There ain't nothing much can hurt us. What a time we've had, Rosie. <laughs> He's... Yeah, we'll never lack the stories to tell our grandchildren, will we? Oh, didn't you love when you were dating and they talked about future in any way and you're like, Ooh, marry me? <gasps> Nothing but grass and papyrus as far as you can see. What are we going to do, Charlie? Can't just go round and round here forever. Well, we get in there and the grass closes in back. No going back, Rosie. Pays your money and you take your choice. She's a woman of the spirit. Let's go with her. We're stuck in the grass. Hard to breathe. The air is so heavy. We may come out back where we started if we come out at all. We've always followed the current, what little there is of it. I don't mean nothing with this river. This river's crazy. Crazy as I am. Oh, <sighs> what I said about having to get out and carry this old boat it's meant to be a joke it don't look like a joke now what the crocodiles doing? isn't this where they like swampy things don't lose your smile charlie Sleep. Rosie, you want to know the truth, don't you? Even if we had all our strength, we could never get her off this mud. We're finished. I'm not one bit sorry I came. Wait. <laughs> Is he like blood poisoning from the leeches? Dear Lord, we've come to the end of our journey. In a little while, we will stand before you. I pray for you to be merciful. Judge us not for our weakness, but for our love. And open the doors of heaven, Charlie and me. You're so close. like Charlie he could have been like I told you so this was the worst idea ever and 
now we're gonna die and like so angry and resentful and mean and he was not. It's gonna, it's gonna rise up the boat off the mud. Isn't it wonderful? It's like, I know you don't approve, but it's like a shot of gin. Blood race, your face numb, and your spirit sore. <laughs> Is it? Yes, it's the Louisa, and she's coming right toward it. We gotta make a run for it, back to the reeds. No, we cannot go back to the reeds. We're going back to the reeds? She's coming right toward us. Didn't they say that's like the a big boat? Like a big... For a minute they'd seen us. Probably anchor there for the night and leave in the morning. How long will it take to get the torpedoes ready? Uh, I know what you're thinking, Rosie. You're thinking of taking the Queen out at night when the Louisa comes back, ain't you, old girl? We ought to manage it. She's serious about the torpedoes. Do you think that you can do it in the dark? Well, it's a case of have to. We'll be ready for her. Oh, scared me. They are dead serious Charlie, about us. Let's make the queen as clean as we can. Representing as she does, the Royal Navy. Well, there ain't no use of us both going to do it. And plainly see, it's a one-man job. You couldn't be more right, Charlie, dear. I mean, when the time comes, I'll put you off on the east shore. You'll wait there for me while I attend to the Louisa. You're the one to be put ashore. Me? I'm the logical one to carry it out. Why, Rosie, I'm surprised at you. But I can manage this boat every bit as well as you can, and you know it. Rosie, you're cracked. <laughs> you're cracked. Yeah. I'll dive off a second before the crash, and we'll be off to Kenya together. It may be necessary for you to come along. Come along? What do you mean? Didn't we just agree this was a one-man job? But you convinced me that it isn't, so now it's settled. We'll go together. Who do you think you are ordering me about? I'm the captain, that's who. Then what you said to me back there on the river was a lie about how you never could have done it alone and how you lost your heart and everything. Easy, he's just trying to protect you. They're having our first quarrel. <sighs> well, what I mean is, suppose something should happen. Not that anything will, but... I wouldn't want to go on to Kenya without you. It'll be you at the tiller and me at the engine, just like it was from the start. And there's the Louisa. Right on time. Jolly ho! Here we go! So they're gonna jump off before an explosion, then swim in the lake, in the rain, in the dark, to Kenya? Oh man. Rosie! Rosie! Where'd she go? What were you doing on the island? Uh, oh, uh, fishing. The punishment for giving false testimony is death by hanging. Who cares? What were you doing on the island? I was fishing. How did you get there? I swam. You are accused of being a spy. Have you anything to say that might lead this court to believe otherwise? I told you I was fishing. Where's Rosie? The court sentences you to death by hanging. Sentence to be carried out immediately. What? <gasps> was there a woman with you? Rosie! Off her! Rosie! Charlie! All is right. She's my lover. You just called her by name. I shall hang you twice, I think. Charlie. What were you doing on the lake? Sideburns. 
are they going to hang you, Charlie? We came here to sink this ship. Rosie. And we would have to, except Rosie, that... sink this ship. Would you believe her, Your Honor? She's touched, you know, fever. I'm certainly not going to outlive you, and that's all there is to it. You don't believe me, do you? Tell them how you made the torpedoes. I took the heads off two cylinders of oxygen, and I filled them up with live explosive, you know, about 200 weight. That was easy enough. Cartridges and nails and blocks of soft wood. We came down the Ulanga. That's impossible. Is it? We came down it, though, didn't we, Charlie? And in the African Queen. We're gonna hang him on a boat? <gasps> oh my gosh! So Would you hang us together, please? Will you grant us a last request? Marry us. Voss? Ship captains can do that, can't they? Yeah. What a lovely idea. <laughs> Very well, if you wish it, absolutely. Do you, Charles, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Yes, sir. Yeah, I do. I do. By the authority vested in me by Kaiser William II, I pronounce you man and wife. Proceed with the execution. <gasps> Please, no. It, can it cannot end like this. They're torpedoes. Hey, what happened? We did it, Charlie. But how? Well, what do you think? <laughs> you all right, Mrs. Allnut? Wonderful, simply wonderful. And you, Mr. Allnut? Pretty good for an old married man. <laughs> <laughs> He's still smiling. But we got off to the cold. <laughs> Oh my heavens. Okay, before I turn this off, I have to confirm something. Sometimes I don't want to say where I recognize them from unless in case I get it wrong. But was he the guy in Casablanca? He was. He looks so different. Still got it. Still got it. Okay, the African Queen. Okay, so. So this was actually filmed in Africa, which is cool. I bet that was very hard and a big feat at the time. I thought it might have just been like stock video or whatever of the animals and stuff, but that's cool that they actually did that. So obviously older movies have almost a different style of acting that you have to get used to for a second and the pacing is a little bit different but once you do put yourself in that way and get used to it, it was, it was, it was tender, tender story and an adventure and I mean at first I was like, do I like her? You know, you definitely had to warm up to her but as you see them both you know work hard on this crazy mission to stay alive and once they do fall for each other it's very sweet i thought he was better than her i don't know if she has relation to audrey sometimes the older style of acting can seem like over acting to me a little bit but she was cute and i believed that she adored him the way she looked at him you know you have to suspend believe but that's what the movies are about and you know that they hit the sunken ship at the exact moment and i just you know i'm here for the love story i went to a movie not too long ago it was about two people on a boat the whole time and shailene woodley who i don't care for this reminded me of that but they had more chemistry <laughs> in this one okay so another classic checked off my list. I know those are both famous names, I think. Bogart was in Casablanca, and I think among other things. Why did they have that stomach growling part? I'm <laughs> just thinking about that. Okay, thank you so much for watching along with me. Have a wonderful night.